Welcome back. Cody Hudson, uh, we're chatting with him, and he's uh, here to talk about the Rock Haven Bible Camp. Where is that? Rock Haven is out at Hasty. Um, actually, just before you go into Hasty, uh, we're on the right. Um, if, you, if you make it to the tiny little town of Hasty, you've already missed us. Oh. And you might not even know that you've made it into Hasty. Exactly. So, so if you make it to the river, you're for, for sure you've gone too far then. Mm -hmm. okay. But <laughs> yeah, we are out at Hasty, have been there. This is our 50th year really? of doing camping ministry, Christian camping ministry out there. Uh, and we were just talking, we started on the Buffalo River uh, just below Hasty. Um, and in, uh-oh, 70s sometime when they I purchased our land, we had a small time frame there that we didn't have uh, camp while we moved up to our current facility. Um, we've got a half an Olympic pool. We've got basketball wow. and uh, that sport you hit the ball back and forth over the net. Volleyball, how about that mm -hmm. one? You Woo. play a lot of volleyball, don't you? I don't do much volleyball. <laughs> well, if someone, okay, say if someone wants to bring their child to this camp, then that's, there's activities, but what else can they oh, expect? Oh, man, um, our schedule is booked. How do you like that? I, from from 7.30 in the morning all the way till uh, 10 or so at night, we've got them going 24-7. Um, from team um, activities to Bible classes and devotions. Um, our speaker this year is a guy named Jimmy Vaughn. He works with Your Turn Ministries out of Greenville, Texas. Um, we've had him a couple years. He's phenomenal on what he has with his experiences in Jamaica and other places, as well as just the inner city stuff in, uh, uh -oh. Excuse me. <laughs> as well as the inner city stuff in Dallas and that area. But he has been incredible to have uh, coming up, but we'll have him this year. Um, we serve, for the most part, we serve um, small churches because a lot of our smaller churches may have a youth pastor or a youth worker working right. with them, but they have to have another job too because mm -hmm. they right. don't get paid for that. So that's something that we offer because most camps require you to bring a staff member with them. Um, we don't require that. We provide all of our staff. Um, we eat very well. Uh, Donna does an amazing job for us and Phil do an amazing job for us there. I always get enough to eat. If you can't tell, I get a little too much sometimes. Mm -hmm. But um, we have, yeah, we fill the day. How do I? Uh, well, and I was going to ask you, is it um, children from any other church, any religion, it doesn't, uh, any, are welcome? Anybody, anywhere. Um, our teen camp starts July 11th. Uh, right I'm having to get corner. dates Excellent. through. Yeah. Starts Monday, um, and it runs through that Saturday, and then the following Monday we start junior high, which is ages ten through twelve. Mm -hmm. And junior camp is the week after that, and it's ages eight to ten, um, with that teen camp being thirteen to eighteen. Mm. But we have, I I personally started going when I was in junior camp, and then started working out there as junior staff mm -hmm. at fifteen. I'll be 26 out there this year, wow. which is crazy to me. Um, so I've been out there a little while, but have fell in love with that. But all of it started um, when a lady named Marie Olson came down from Moody Bible Institute in 1936 and started what a lot of people around here know as the Bible ladies who came into schools mm -hmm. all over this area. Mm -hmm. Those Bible ladies were from now Rock Heaven Ministries. Then it was North Arkansas Gospel Mission. But they realized the need for Christian camping and for kids to have something in the summer like that. Um, like K-Life, right. um, they came out of Canacuck, um, and Canacuck has developed the same thing as we've got a need for those kids to have something like that, and this is the same type of thing. Canacuck does an awesome job up there, um, incredible job. We, I love Canacuck to death, but I couldn't have afforded Canacuck when I was... Uh, well, I was going to ask mm -hmm. you, do you mind to talk a little oh, bit about what... I would love to, For a week-long camp. We charge $85. Um, I challenge you to feed a teenage boy for a week for $85, much less get them in the pool every day, let them play basketball and do right. all the other mm -hmm. activities for that amount of money. So that, that brings you back to, honestly, there's no way we pay for it with $85 because the other thing is over over a third of our kids are scholarshiped each year. Um, okay. We we will not turn anybody away because they don't have the money to come. 
we absolutely want them there and we will make so sure. So how do you how do you fund that? <laughs> through private donations, through okay. um, there are some churches that support us definitely but more than anything individuals who realize the need for right. that donation. One of the things that we are doing on the 10th which is this Sunday these dates are killing oh, yeah. me by the way <laughs> don't you like me going uh on the 10th we have um we're gonna have a big barbecue over there that is completely okay. free um if you guys know Ricky Morris who is mm -hmm. from this area he's gonna barbecue for us um and he'll have his potatoes and mushrooms and the barbecue which yeah. is mm. oh it's good um <laughs> but we will have that over there and it's we call it the Rock Haven reunion reunion is kind of a I guess it's a poor term for it on one hand, because honestly, we invite everybody out to it that is interested in camp, that has had a kid there, that they've been there, that they had one of our ladies as Bible ladies, or they just or want more information. Or they're interested in seeing about it. Yeah, they okay. just want more information. Come out. We start at, the pool opens at 3 o'clock, um, and I think I'm going to end up having to be down there lifeguarding for that, so that should be fun. Interesting. I'll, I'll get a tan or blister one like you, you, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. I don't tan very well, obviously. Plenty of sunscreen. Now, Plenty of sunscreen. The camp runs, when you sign up for camp, you go Monday through... Monday through Saturday, Saturday for teen camp. The other two are Monday through Friday. Um, yeah, Monday through Friday at, okay. at noon. Uh, that's okay. when we send them home then. Um, they, Is it too late to sign up for... Oh, we, we accept you morning of uh, oh, okay. We we will do pre-registration. We have a lot that pre-register. However, we will accept you all the way to morning of. Do you show fill up, by, up? I mean, do you ever have that problem, or do you? We have never not? turned anyone away okay. for okay. numbers. Last okay. year, we we thought we were going to have to go hunt down beds and come right. up here and have him build us mm -hmm. a new cabin real quick. Mm -hmm. You're doing construction stuff, so oh, yeah. throw us oh, up a new you cabin. Oh, cabin, and no problem. Uh, it won't be that size though. Oh, it'll probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were we were tied on space last year, and we are we are planning on being tied on space during the junior high camp this year, and would would love to see it absolutely overflowing. We will find a place for them, and um, looking forward to expanding our number of weeks. I've got my Rock Haven basketball camp shirt on, which is we did that in June. This was our fifth year of doing that. Doing that um, has been a new ministry for us, but. Um, had more kids at it than we've ever had. Mm -hmm. It was an awesome, Great. awesome experience uh, for all of them. Um, looking forward to a lot of them coming back. Some Harrison kids, some Omaha, mm -hmm. Western Grove. We have them from all over. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a way that some of those kids that are sports oriented uh, can come out and right. we do a lot of basketball. Some people from around this area may remember Lois Hudson who went to school at Western mm -hmm. Grove. That's my aunt, awesome awesome ball player. I laugh at her because she beat me when I was 13. She beat me like 36 to 100. <laughs> it was bad, but this is from the woman who scored 71 points in one basketball game. Right. So had her come out, had some, uh, had some other people come out doing some of our court stuff, but also we're able to incorporate our um, Christian living and some of that into um, camp. And it's an awesome opportunity. If you've got grandkids, if you've got kids, if you know somebody down the road that you think ought to go, just give us a call. We would, we would love to get you a brochure. We would love mm -hmm. to figure out how we can make now, it work for them. Are you online them. by chance? We're online, okay. uh, rockhavenbiblecamp.org. Okay. Um, we're on Facebook. We okay. like friends too. Okay. Oh, by the way, I just, I friended K-Life a while ago. Uh, as he was talking about it, I whipped out the iPhone and had to friend K-Life. Right. I already got you guys, so y'all are old news okay. now so okay. i printed k-life already well, hey, they're told all the time it sounds, i mean it's nice to have this this close you know oh I mean, yeah. and that's area. that's something that a lot of our parents one a lot of our parents in this area couldn't afford k-life right, and right. k-life k-life does a lot of scholarships and I, nothing against them because right. they have an amazing amazing program and right. k institute is awesome and um but a lot of our parents can't afford even to drive their kid up there mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we we want to provide every opportunity we can for uh, kids in this area right. to hear the gospel, to to get it in that environment. We pull them away from what they know. Electronics, we don't exactly. we don't do electronics. They don't have their cell phone. They right. don't have any of that. And 
That's a new that's world a, for that's kids an anymore. Awesome, that'd be an awesome experience. Yeah, really. you bet. Sometimes I want to get rid of my cell phone. I want to throw mine to where sure. I don't get any more calls. Yeah. <laughs> you know? exactly. We've got about a minute left, and uh, for people that just may have tuned in, how can they get a hold of you? And and we don't want to deter them deter them from wanting to sign up because you'll make room for them. Oh, we'll make room for them anytime. Um, our number is four two nine six eight five eight, or uh, our website is rockhavenbiblecamp.org. Um, you can download a brochure on it. You can okay. you can email us there. You can Facebook us there. Um, we would love to have you. Good. Well, thank good, you good, very good. much. It was awesome being on here. <laughs> we'll enjoy listening to this one later and making fun of myself there because I'm go. sure everybody else does. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it works around here. Oh, we've we had get a good you in, show. Then we make fun of you. That, see, that works yeah. great. <laughs> we've had a very good show today. We had Jimmy Kirkland talking about the Gay Life Golf Tournament, Grant Merrill with Vite Magazine, Fred Wool and Sybil Craig with the Buffalo National River Partners, and Cody Hudson with Rock Haven Bible Camp. All right. Always and a pleasure. See you next is. week. Yes. If not before. We'll see you next week, and we'll see you again next time. So stay, stick around, stay with us, and we'll be back in a week. Some other in time, a way, yeah, in about a week. Yeah, about a week. Okay. <laughs>